Putin warned the West, Russia has weapons that can strike targets on your territory. Politicians in the West sought to weaken Russia from within, just like they did in Ukraine, but they failed, Russian President Vladimir Putin said in a State of the Nation address. They essentially would like to do to Russia exactly what they did to many other regions of the world, including Ukraine. Bring discord to our home and weaken us from within. But they miscalculated, the president said. It is absolutely obvious today. Vladimir Putin has warned the West that Russia has weapons that can strike targets on your territory, claiming allies have created a potential nuclear conflict which could lead to the destruction of civilization. In a State of the Nation address ahead of next month's election, Putin accused the US of wanting to ultimately defeat Russia and drag us into an arms race. Speaking to an audience of lawmakers and top officials, which was televised live nationwide, Putin said Russia was defending its sovereignty and security and protecting our compatriots in Ukraine. The Russian president addressed his remarks specifically to nations which have hinted they could send their own troops to support Ukraine. Earlier this week, French President Emmanuel Macron said he would not rule out doing so, saying nothing should be excluded. However, other countries, including the UK, the US and Germany, warned against the move. They need to understand we too have weapons that can strike targets on their territory, Mr. Putin said. He said Western rhetoric had threatened a conflict with the use of nuclear arms and consequently the destruction of civilization. Russian MFA Military personnel of NATO countries stationed in Ukraine. Service personnel of NATO countries are stationed in Ukraine, Maria Zakharova, spokeswoman of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Russia, said. She said that the mentioned military personnel are actively helping the armed forces of Ukraine. Zakharova added that the Ukrainian army is running out of weapons and personnel. Zakharova told that the West is preparing for a long-term conflict with Russia. She said that the security agreements between Western countries and Ukraine are an indication of this. This suggests that the West is not interested in a political diplomatic solution to the Ukrainian crisis. According to her, even promises by French President Emmanuel Macron to send Western troops into Ukraine will not be enough to change the minds of the Ukrainian people, who have started to wake up to the fact that they have been betrayed by the West. Zakharova suggested that Macron's statement was an attempt to send out a bright and powerful statement that would somehow inspire people in the ranks of the armed forces of Ukraine and in the ranks of Ukrainian citizens being driven to slaughter, that the West would help them. However, according to the spokeswoman, the French leader's statement has had the opposite effect, especially after a large number of NATO representatives publicly stated that they were in no way considering sending their own soldiers to fight for Ukraine. The signal was exactly the opposite, that they betrayed Ukraine and will continue to use it and betray it, she said. Russia recruiting Syrian mercenaries for meat assaults. Ukraine's military defense intelligence has reported on its Telegram channel that Russia is recruiting mercenaries from Syria to bolster its military resources for the war in Ukraine, according to the Kyiv Post. The recruitment of Syrians for the war indicates a deterioration in the morale and psychological state of the Russian occupation forces due to large-scale losses and the need to replenish them to further meet assaults. Ukraine's military defense intelligence reported Initial training sessions, which focus on urban combat operations for the first group of mercenaries, estimated to be around 1,000 strong, are said to be underway in Syria near the city of Aleppo and the Kuwires airfield. Following the completion of their training, the mercenaries are expected to be transported to Russia's Khamaimim airbase in Syria before being transferred to Russian territory. Upon arrival, according to Ukrainian intelligence, Syrian recruits are granted Russian citizenship provided with Russian passports and subsequently drafted into the Russian arms assault units. The video footage, which is attached to Ukraine's military defense intelligence's report, showcased several Syrians holding Russian passports, which were allegedly issued within five days. Intelligence sources have revealed that Moscow is enticing Syrian men, obviously facing dire circumstances in their own war-torn country, through travel agencies. Initially, they are promised positions as security guards at oil refineries in Yakusha, 
only to be later enticed with offers of higher paying jobs in Buratia. In the city of Ulan Ude in the Borat Republic, these recruited men are expected to join the 5th Separate Guards Tank Brigade of the Russian Armed Forces, where they will be involved in combat operations against Ukraine.